Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Joey P, Joe Pizapia, and welcome to the Hit and Run special opening day edition. That's right, right here on the Fantrax HQ. We are talking opening day. We're talking 2019. I know you're excited. And look, you should be because it's been a long three months of drafting and preparing and researching. And now, now it's time to play the game. So let's have some fun and play a game. Let's play Fantasy Awards for 2019. Why not? It's fun. We'll make some predictions. It'll be a good time. All right, let's start with the MVP of the American League. Now, look, Trout and Betts are easy, so forget that. Let's talk about from an ADP perspective. And my guy for this, Jose Altuve. You have short-term memory loss, people. For two straight years, this guy averaged 100-plus runs scored, 200-plus hits, 24 bombs, 30-plus deals, and he hit 330 every year. What more do you need? Look, I saw him fall out of the first round in some drafts. That is a travesty, and from a basis of ADP, Jose Altuve will be the most valuable American League player. On the National League side, how about Ronald Acuna? When this season is over, I say next year in 2020, Acuna is going to be the number one and the only keeper. He's going to hit 30 bombs, probably 100-100, and he's going to steal at least 20 to 25 bases. Stop with the panicking about the fact he's in the middle of the order and worrying he's not going to steal any bases anymore because he is. Stop your negativity. All right, let's go. And actually, you know what? Let's stay with the Braves, and my comeback player of the year, Josh Donaldson, that's right, the new addition, the third baseman for the Braves, Josh Donaldson, that guy hitting two in that order, I love it, it's beautiful, on a one-year contract, what's not to like, I don't know, everything is to like, so go get some Josh Donaldson, all right, he's going to be comeback player of the year, American League comeback player of the year, how about my boy, Miguel Cabrera, that's right, Miggy is the man, he looks fit, having a good spring. He's going to DH a ton. That'll keep him healthy. I don't care he's 36. The guy is a Hall of Famer. Miguel Cabrera, comeback player of the year. All right, Cy Youngs. I'm going to go with two guys that broke out last year. How about Aaron Noll in the NL, Garrett Cole in the AL. I know a lot of people like his teammate Verlander for Cy Young. But Verlander's first half is going to be impossible to repeat. It was magical. Did you know that Garrett Cole led the league last year in K per nine for starters? Guess what? He did. And... I think that's going to result in a 20-win season for him. Aaron Nola, I think, is going to win 18 games this year. How's that for a prediction? And even though the Phillies won't make the playoffs, he's going to keep it interesting down the stretch. Aaron Nola, National League Cy Young, he's a quality start machine, and that's what you want. All right, let's move on here to Rookies of the Year because that's all that's left. Aloy Jimenez, it's yours, baby. It's your world. When an organization gives out an extension like that before a guy plays one single game in the big leagues, it's because he's special, and they know what he is. He's going to start off hitting sixth in that order. By the time the season's over, he could be hitting third or even fifth. So, look, Aloy's going to be that guy, Rookie of the Year. I know it's not much of a reach, but it's my prediction, and I'm sticking with it, all you Vlad Guerrero truthers. Aloy, Rookie of the Year, fantasy perspective-wise. And my National League one, maybe it's going to cause a little bit of a tussle, especially because he's starting off the year in a walking boot, and that's Nick Senzel. I know Pete Alonso's going to be there from the start for the Mets, but... I think Senzel is going to be up sooner than later. I know the plan is for him to play the outfield. I get it. The Reds want him to get comfortable there. But they're going to start feeling some pressure if they get out of the gate slow. And they're going to have Senzel eventually come up, I think, by mid to late May, once he's healthy, and play some games at second base for them because they're going to need that. So keep that in mind. Be patient, Nick Senzel owners. I think if you are, this will finally be the year it pays off for you. All right, you can follow me on the Twitter machine, at JoePizzaPia17. Check out all the great content at FantraxHQ.com. And remember, it's opening day. It's only April. Don't start looking too hard at April and the results you see. It's a long season. Be patient. Good things will happen as long as you stick with us. Listen to the Black Book Pod. Check out the HQ. We got you covered, baby. All right, that'll do it for me. Stay on track. Happy opening day.